Real Talk Boxing and KOR Artist Sports here with uh, Christian of Chimpa Gonzalez. How are you feeling, brother? Fights uh, this weekend? How's the uh, camp and everything? Man, very good. You know, I'm just uh, very excited. You know, I can't, can't wait to uh, to Thursday you know, to get the weight out of the way and eat, and then uh, you know, fight time on Friday. What uh, What's your first uh, post weigh-in meal? What do you, what uh, do you go to first? You know, it's water, Gatorade. You know, I don't, I don't get really get that hungry. Uh, it's just for no the No light or any of that? Oh, no, I don't like it. You know, like it? Hey, <laughs> Pedialyte. <light. laughs> <laughs> Give my Gatorade, you know, my vitamin <laughs> water. And then uh, after, I'm just, I think, so full of you know, everything I drank. Uh, I don't really eat as much. I think since you're on the diet, your stomach gets used to eating you know, a little bit. You fall up really quick. So, uh, for the most part, it's you know, my, uh, a good piece of chicken, sometimes steak, pizza, pasta. And then uh, and just rest. You know, rest and just be ready for Friday. Pizza seems to be a big post uh, weigh in meal. I heard a lot of fighters say that. Is yeah, that just because of the carbs? Hey, I, I think so. The carbs, that it's just... Uh, I don't know. I, I heard both. I heard that it's not good, and I heard that it's good. Uh, I sometimes do. Uh, for the most part, I usually do get pizza. But uh, I mean, I feel good. I don't. Where the power comes from, right? <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> you're, you're 11 and 0 with uh, 10 knockouts. Yeah. Uh, what do you have to do so that uh, your opponent on Saturday, or Friday, doesn't uh, reach the final bell? Man? Um, just stay calm. You know, stay calm. I'm fighting eight rounds, so there's more, you know, more time to. Uh, no figure out your opponent. Uh, there's no, uh, there's no rush. There's no rush. Uh, if the knockout comes, it's, it comes. You know, uh, we're prepared to go to distance. The guy's tough. Uh, he's never been knocked out, so we're looking to, you know, to fight around with him. And like I said, if the knockout comes, it's, hey, man, it's an extra. What, what do you know about your opponent? You just said he's never hasn't been knocked out before. You've seen a lot of film. Uh, on him? I, I a couple of fights. You know, I just, uh, I know that his last fight, he just upset it. Uh, uh, Golden Boy fight, I believe it was 12 and 0. He just upset him. Uh, the Lucas Matisse on the card. And I know the guy uh, comes to fight. He's a tough competitor. Uh, you know, he does a lot of punches, kind of awkward. And uh, I know that he's going to bring him on Friday. So uh, you know, that's, that's going to be good. Last time you fight on uh, LA Fight Club, you were on the undercard, now you're the main event. How does it feel to be headlining, man? Hometown, um, you know, <laughs> hometown be, fans there. To be honest, man, never did I think this moment would come, you know, such an early yeah. stage of my career. You know, I sure am 20 years old, and uh, yeah, that is a big accomplishment. Uh, and very extremely motivated, and I just can't wait, you know, can't wait to fight. Where does your nickname come from, LT? But tell, tell us where that my came mom, from. You know, uh, mom, mom? <laughs> uh, when I was one, I would hear music, and kids, you know, when they, they hear music, they dance in a certain way. And uh, when I would hear music, I would put my hands up in the air, and I would dance like a chimpanzee. And it stayed, it stayed, and everybody calls me, you know, everybody calls me Chimpa. Like when I hear Christian, like I'm not too sure if they're calling me or not because I just got used to Chimpa. Even at school, my teachers, everybody called me, called me Chimpa. What got you into boxing? Uh, I come from a boxing family. Uh, I used to play soccer. And just watching my older brother, uh, he started boxing for me. And uh, just watching him, one day I was like, you know what? Someone challenged me, uh, you know, in the gym one day. And I went up there and I was like, you know what, this is, uh, this is pretty fun. So I left soccer and I went to boxing. Okay, so what have you been doing to prepare for this fight? Uh, we just, uh, we picked up on training. Uh, we picked it up, picked it up on the running. Uh, more rounds, you know, in sparring, a little bit, uh, a little bit of everything because uh, we're fighting eight rounds, like I said. And, uh, you know, just keep, uh, keep the same, you know, level from round one to round eight. Just uh, keep it at the same pace. We have um, a lot of gear. I always see like the yellow shirts and things like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what did your fans get that stuff? Uh, we we haven't. Uh, I believe next year we're gonna you know launch it. You know come out because uh, a lot of people. Are, hey, a hat, a hat. But we're just so busy with things like this that uh, that it's a drag sometimes. So uh, next year we're gonna sit down and we're gonna uh, so we can we'll put it up for sale. What did you uh, think about the Costa Canelo fight? Uh, I think it was a good fight. You know, I think that we've seen uh, I saw a lot of improvements in, in Canelo. Uh, you know, a head movement, a lot of new things that we uh, haven't seen, uh, especially in that way, you know. Uh, I think he, he did win, there was no doubt that he won. I just don't think he won that margin of, of scorecard that, you know, they say that Cotto only won two, three rounds. I don't think so, you know, I think he won a little more. Cotto, uh, Canelo did win, but I see by two, three, two, three points, not, not the big, not the big gap. Does that concern you at all when you see judges scorecards like that and feel like you need to be more dominant or maybe? Uh, not necessarily, you know, it's just, 
no, no, just don't, don't let that get in the way of you know, doing your job. Just go out there and do the best you can. And uh, if, it, if it happens, it happens, you know? Hey, brother. Well, best of luck. Uh, LA Fight Club, December 4th. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. If Kodo and Triple G were to fight each other, who do you think would win? And how do you think the fight would go? Uh, you know, that, that, that's a tough one, you know? But um, I think uh, uh, if Canelo... If Canelo could survive, you know, the the first uh, the later rounds, I, I think Canelo has a chance because uh, I think he's faster than GGG and uh, you know he has a lot of head movement. I think Triple G is just strong, strong coming forward. He has very little head movement and uh, yeah, he hits hard. You know, if he lands a good shot, Canelo, uh, you know, who knows? But uh, if Canelo does uh, an excellent fight, I think uh, I think Canelo could, could be Canelo Golovkin. Do you think it'll go by decision or KO? Uh, I, I think I, I think by knockout one way or another because I mean both of the records I mean it's, it's knockout you know and I think uh, I think that fight will, will end by knockout either Canelo or the guy who left it. So how has your life changed ever since you took up boxing and you know you're you're doing things that you know other boxers would just die to do. You're living the dream. So how has your life changed and how does it feel? Oh, it feels very good. You know, it's something like I told them. It, it, I never did. I think that. You know, at, at such a young age, I would be headlining my first event. You know, I'm 20 years old, and you know, when I got the news that I want to be headlining Lasso Theater, it was oh my god, I couldn't even believe it for myself. You know, it's uh, it's extremely motivational for me, extremely happy, and just uh, can't wait to put on a show. Um, you know, a couple of boxers, you know, they do like one, three, four fights a year. Some people do two fights a year. What do you do in 2016? Hey. Uh, the most I can, you know, if I don't get injured, you know, just keep me active like they did this year. This year, it's going to be my fourth fight. It's supposed to be my fifth because I got sick for the July 11th. Uh, the, the Mauricio undercard, I got sick, so I wasn't able to fight. But uh, this is supposed to be my fifth fight. This is my fourth fight. So yeah, they've been, I've been active and uh, we're expecting uh, 2016 to be the same way. Is there anything that you want to say to fans all over the Just uh, thank you for all the support and uh, don't miss my fight uh, December 4th at the Blasphemy Theater.